So um, I just wanted to show you what I have on my table right now. I've uh, been kind of obsessed with making these pockets and I want to show you... Um, I already made a video but um, something went wrong with my camera. So I'm redoing it and either way I don't mind because I <laughs> want to make more. So um, I stitched these. Um, these are pockets like uh, that I'm making right now. Uh, left the strings on. I might cut them off later. I don't know. But um, if I do have something to actually put in, I can show you. Um, I have this thing. So, two pockets and the third one um, at the back. Um, that's what I'm doing. And this one is uh, two pages. So, I stitched them all up. I didn't stitch these um, across here, but I just wanted to show you, you know, because um, I love um, zigzag around and straight on the bottom. This one is magazine page that was uh, painted, and it's a sturdier one. Uh, the back side was black, so I just used that as something different here. So, um... And on this one, I think I could write on the back because it's a little bit uh, blended. The text is blended in with the color. And this is a bigger one. Um, same thing. Okay, then these are <laughs> upgrade from that. And I used some washi tape because um, I just wanted to pop some color in because I do very much like the colors. So this is just one I kind of like how it looks like. And it's the same uh, technique, you know, folding it. And I just stitched around. This is some chicks. Um, reminds me of, uh, maybe you can see it better here. Reminds me of uh, Easter time. So um, this could as well be for the Easter. Um, this one is a bit different. This is, uh, I used two pages. Uh, I might as well make a few of these. Um, and the back and has like one two three four and on this side it's in between is another pocket so let's say five um, tuck spots I love this washi hopefully you can see that it's like um, really um, soft pastel -y colors um, and they're all the same you know, made bunch and um, like the wash really. So, okay, that's what I have here. Probably you can see. I'm gonna just leave it as it is. Um, this video might be a bit longer. Um, I just want to use some stuff and maybe give you some ideas. So, um, I'm gonna set my clock at 30 minutes and we'll go from there. And let's do it. Um, okay, so I have some back pages um, of a book and how I did them, maybe I need to put these aside, okay, so how I did um, the pocket is I fold it like this, I think I want to have like three um, lines i don't even know how to say but i'm trying to measure like so and then like this i'm gonna fold it again so i usually go three or two lines of the text and then i fold it again and try to do like uh, similar sizes sometimes it's bigger sometimes it's smaller and i don't mind at all like so i like to do the creases for sure if i can and then I cut off this side but since I want to use some washi or something else on top of it um, let me think I think I want to use some uh, some stuff okay in this example um, let me see I think I want to use some of the ribbons that I have here these are uh, stuff that I got uh, in the mail and something that I received um, 
feeling something like so and then I would just go here and do the same thing so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this off because that's fabric and when I was doing washi tape I just um, I did that at the end I cut the side at the end okay so let's do it I'll need some fabric tech for this and we'll just make a line and uh, glue it down I do want to leave just a little bit of gap on the top so I can um, distress it after. I could do it right now, but I'm just going to do it when it's it's uh, dry before I stitch it. So I can take the middle one as well and the, the bottom one. Okay, what should I do this? Hmm. I would... Do something like this. I kind of like that. And I kind of like this as well. Um, I'll think about it while I'm putting the glue down, what I'm going to do. But, like, small trims and stuff like that, you can really use them up like so. Uh, really quickly, because, you know, this is quite a quite some length. And if you're using the same ribbon or lace, oh, you could do lace too. Or maybe you would, um, you can paint the papers black and use white lace on it. I think that would look really, really nice. Okay, now I'm just left with these two small pieces. Um, I think this is um, straight, but it might not be. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit off. I don't know. Um... Let me close my fabric tag and I will just let it dry and then I'm going to cut off everything. I want to use black for this one. I'll just use black. Just going to do it like that. These are really cheap inks from eBay or AliExpress. I don't even remember what I got them, but they they sell same things, so I think I need more fabric tag there. And before I'm going to stitch, what you can do is stitch on the top of uh, the ribbon and on the bottom of the ribbon and then do this this one on the top and the bottom and then this one on the bottom and then you put everything together and start somewhere here and just go all around. I think I would actually like to do that with this one. Um, maybe I should use white thread. I don't know. I'll see that when I um, get to that stage. But I really think that could work with this one uh, to make it even prettier. And on the back, you can actually have it for writing if you wanted to. It's like a floating pocket. I'm going to put it aside and continue with another one. I have another longer page. And I feel doing the same and trying to have some let me see like a bigger one for trying to do something like this and I really like these um, numbers here love the numbers and I was thinking maybe some washi could come handy if your washi is not really sticky I advise you to put some glue on just in case of, I had some um, lifty ups, something like this. So let me cut off this side. I'm gonna cut this side like this. And 
done something like this. Okay, and I have this lovely thing here. Um, but it's not totally straight, but I don't mind. It's okay. Um, inking, inking. Maybe I could do purple. Might be too dark, but I'll just go with it. And the sides. Hmm. I feel like I could use this to round my Uh, corners trying to think and talk at the same time kind of hard for me right now <laughs> oh. and a little bit on the top like this and let me continue inking So, something like that. I really like this one. Uh, looks like that. And the other one, that it's semi-finished, looks like that. Oh, I need to ink it on the bottom as well. I'll do that. These are really uh, thinner pages. So let me try to do something with that. Um, I think I did like two lines, so somewhere here, and then something like this. And with this one, I feel like I wanted to use some of the papers, so let me measure, like really quickly. Um... Okay, I have, this is just some pamphlet that uh, put some color on it, so how long, I'm going to cut this way, oh come on, come on, come on, something like this I think it's, it was measured, if not, I can do something else with it, can't I? And I was thinking maybe I could just glue it down like this. Um, pencil? Pencil, please. And this is semi-glossy, um, this pamphlet, but um, since it was white, I didn't mind at all. It's going to no, be too no. short. Okay, let's do it. This is really old, old pamphlet. I don't even know. Like 98 or 97 or even older. She's trying to see. Oh, 1980. <laughs> uh, with my grandmother's. <laughs> she had it somewhere in her uh, stash of stuff and I just... Uh, it's nothing interesting, it's just um, some gallery opening. So if you don't have a um, washi tape or anything like that, this is cool idea to use painted papers as a, as a making for putting some color on. Okay, this looks fine to me. Maybe they're too, too long. Yuck. This one takes a little bit more time, doesn't it? Okay, this is cut off. So, we have 14 minutes. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to cut off just a little bit. Um, something like that. 
and let's see if that's yeah perfect you see it's so so perfect um maybe something like this and same thing on the top but i have to put two pages together because it's so um soft the paper is so soft and uh, it doesn't want to punch if it's only one paper and this is gonna be like that and i think i kind of want to have rounder rounded corners and this one and this one let me see let me quickly see how that looks like i'm gonna turn this around and have this like so yep i'm feeling it and uh, maybe a little bit of distressing like a quickie quickie distressing Now it's a glue time. Let's glue, glue, glue. I'm going to glue this. I'm thinking to put some of these um, pockets into my shop, like making a few packs. If anyone wants to have them, you can go check it out in my Etsy store. I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to make loads of them. <laughs> Looks cute. And I could put a butterfly or something on there. Um, this one just needs um, stitching all around or... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I might as well show you at the end of this video how they look stitched up okay let's do two three more i have some fabric that i want to use so let's do few with the fabric um few or at least one um make a pocket okay we had like two lines with this one it's not straight is it these pages are so um, out of uh, straightness. <laughs> oh, words. Words. So, I was thinking maybe I could... Not sure if I can do it slowly. just need some fabric I know it's not straight but out of mind I want to glue this here oh Emma cut it down cut it down before you glue it down and on the side still think it's uh, not straight but you know not right oh this is so wonky what did I do that it's so wonky you would think every page is straight in the book but it's not misconception eh ah, I can't pull it off it's too small just thinking what can I do with this one and I'm thinking like you could zigzag that on as well and probably that would look nice as well I wanted to use this piece somewhere here or on the top let's do it at the top I love this Fabri-Tac, it's uh, really, really nice glue. 
and it doesn't stink like all the glues that are uh, that are here they really stink like really really badly mm. this way and I like that it's curling and chopping it off and I put a dab of glue on the end okay and now I think I'm going to put a piece of washi on the middle something like this even though I can't see if I'm straight and just a little bit of ink and we have five minutes there is I think another Thing that I wanted to do but uh, we'll see I really like when you can take one thing and uh, like one sample and just do so many things with it like using fabrics ribbons whatever laces whatever you have lying around to make them look nice okay so the next one, I'm going to put this aside, the next one, um, let me think, I have these cutouts I wanted to use, but um, I feel like I want to use one of the pages um, that uh, are not so nice, let me see, I have this, maybe I can use the green one. This is some newspaper that I painted a while back with um, watercolors. So, yeah, let's try to make something out of this newspaper. It's going to be orange. Kind of don't like this orange. I'm going to glue two pages together so it's going to be more sturdier. I am going to cut it down to size so it's going to be square. And I did something like this and I don't like the top or the bottom or however you want to say it. I wanted to do something like this. I like this, so I feel like using that, but then I have green here. Hmm. I'm gonna chop a little bit more to get rid of the green. Why? I don't know. I just feel like it. Um, this and this. Yeah, something like this. And this one, I think I'm going to stitch all the flaps. Um, always saying flaps, whatever that means. So this is really creased. Um, I don't think I need to do much more on this one because it's like finished. Has all the color and all. Is that straight? Kind of. Um, yeah, this side is fine. And this trimmer is awesome as well. I'm just going to use my to ink it and maybe I can cut off the side. Can I fit it in? Yeah. Cool. I love that. Six seconds. Can you believe it? Yeah, this one is ready too. So, um, we made like one, two, three, four, five together in 
30 minutes, which is cool and awesome. Um, it's gonna take me a little bit to sew them, so let's say, I don't know, five minutes or something. And that's gonna be it. I'll be right back to show you how they look stitched. And uh, I'll be right back. I stitched all of them and here they are. So let me show you. I'm gonna just start with this one. Um, all stitched. And I really love how it looks like. I stitched the bottom, then the middle, and then all around. If you're wondering how I did that. Then this one from the newspaper. Same thing. And it's really sturdy. I think I need to make more of these as well. And on the back. Looks really nice. And then I have this one. I just did all around. And I'm thinking if that would be something that I want to write on. I would put washi on the back or glue something down or just use gesso so you can write and it's a floating floating uh, pocket and journaling card. You know, you can do whatever. This is another one that's with, you know, those things we made. And I um, zigzag everywhere and I love it. It's so cute. And this one, it might be my favorite one. <laughs> so, like I said before, I stitched um, every every uh, flap two times. So, I started with this one, and then this one, top and bottom. And this one, I started with the bottom. And this was the uh, stitch uh, number four and a half, the length. And then I just sewed all around. And, uh, yeah... I love it. I hope you like it. I hope you can utilize some of the scraps you have to embellish the pockets. Two tips. You can use some of the yarn and stitch it zigzag on uh, these flaps if you wanted to. Because, you know, who doesn't have yarn at home? Small bits. You can even use really nice... Um, plastic if you have um, some plastic that is nice colored um, another thing you can use is party streamers um, this is like just uh, stuff you would actually put for the party I, I don't know how you say that um, in America but I think it's party streamer so you could utilize that and I think I'm gonna make a few of them as well because I have a lot a lot of this it was really cheap so I just got it and don't forget about stenciling so this is one of, of uh, pockets that I made. Um, I just edged uh, all the edges and stenciled over it on both sides. So that's one um, thing you can do as well. If you want some of the pockets that I made in this video, I'm going to put them in my Etsy store. So I think they're already in right now and you can go check them out. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.